So today we're going to basically look at plaque and the build up of plaque on the inside of the the arteries and the veins and how to treat that and we're going to call it atherosclerosis. Okay, you might hear the word arteriosclerosis. That is a subset of the same thing. So athero atherosclerosis is what we're talking about. Okay, now so basically we're talking about describe so what we're going to do today. Our goals are to describe the buildup of plaque on the walls of the major arteries and veins, uh, and then of course the consequences and how we can eliminate that to ease blood flow. So atherosclerosis. Basically, it's a build of plaque, which is hardened lipid tissues. That remember lipids are fats and they're tissues, so it's not just fat floating around, it's a fat cell, well, tissues and lots of fat cells on the artery walls. And here's a diagram over here. So that, that's a healthy heart artery. And here is one that has been affected by an atherosclerosis. So a person suffering a heart attack is actually well, suffering from a lack of blood to the heart muscles themselves. Okay, and that's the problem. We'll get to that in a second. So if the, oh, but if the heart doesn't get the blood, it can't function. Like any other tissue, it needs blood to function. So an atheroma or a fat deposit is a buildup um, of cholesterol is taken from the blood. Now it's LDPs, low density, uh, sorry, LDLs, low density lipoproteins. These are, are taken from the the uh, the blood flow and they build up as an atheroma. Now, in food, you have LDLs and high density lipoproteins. The LDLs are the ones that cause problem. High high density lipoproteins in a small amount are beneficial. All right. So, dense white tissue can also be laid down. Um, could this cause on in the wall of the vessel. Now, this can cause the smooth endothelial wall. That's the inside wall to break down and give you a rough fibrous tissue exposed. Now, blood platelet, platelets which cause plotting, a uh, clotting, sorry, that's the when it all joins together, they adhere to rough surfaces. Um, and a blood clot can then form, a thrombus can form where that rough surface is. If you want to see an example of that, boil some water in a scratched up pot. Where it's rough, that's where you'll see all the bubbles coming from. The rough surfaces, they just, they tend to cause the abnormalities in the liquids. All right, so what can this result in? So basically, an aneurysm, which is caused by blood pressure rising. So as the blood pressure rises, you can see it's gonna try and get here, it's gonna push a large, the same amount through a smaller hole, and that will cause a rise in pressure. Now, this will then cause the wall to weaken and break, and that's an aneurysm. Now, you can have an asembolism, sorry, an embolism. Um, embolisms are clots that move throughout the body. All right. You can also have a thrombosis, which is a, a clot in a specific location. And this, this also happens on, on flights where people get deep vein thrombosis. So a thrombosis is a clot that's a blood clot that's in one spot. Now, an atherosclerosis in the heart, sorry, in the coronary artery, that's the artery that supplies the heart muscle with blood, that can cause a heart attack if it's not treated straight away or as soon as. So, there are ways to do this. You can take a thrombolytic. Um, these are well, it causes the the plasma to attack the certain attack the clots, so they dissolve plasma, the, the white blood cells, to attack the clots. And you take these orally, um, but you've got to take these as soon as symptoms begin. You can also have angioplasty. Now, that is a surgery done on arteries, veins, or capillaries. Uh, so a balloon is inserted up the vein, and it is expanded, so inflated, um, and it just flattens it. It basically, it simply goes in and pushes it flat to cause that to make that area free again. 
We can also have an atherectomy. So a catheter, which is a tube, is placed into the aorta in the groin and then moved to the, the heart or wherever the, the plaque is and then removes it. It cuts it out mechanically, so it cuts it out or pulls it out. There are seven treatments. Now, you are going to outline these ones. You can use the internet, or I would suggest using the internet, use the internet to outline these sheets, outline these seven treatments, and then download the sheet from the wiki to, to work from. So there are a atherectomy, balloon angioplasty, bypass surgery, cardiac catheterization, a laser angioplasty, stents, and a thrombectomy. All right. Make sure you clearly understand what atherosclerosis is or plaque. Make sure you understand what it is. Results, what it can result in. That might be best done with a, a flow chart. And you might want to, again, take a quick note of those seven different treatments and how they work and then work on that worksheet. That should summarize all of this for you. Good luck. Stay rad. See you in class.